Uh, hello everyone, uh, my name is Jelly and uh, we are Demac Laser and today we are going to introduce our factory. Uh, I'm going to show you on web that how is our workshop looks like. Uh, let's come with me. Uh, this is our factory, it has uh, 10,000 square meters. We have another 10,000 square meters besides that we are going to put in use probably next half year. And uh, our main um, cutting machine model is uh, 6 meters per 2.5 because in China this uh, model is very popular. Um, I know that in Europe or maybe in the United States uh, for the shipping convenience and uh, people are more using uh, 3.5 or 4 by 2 dimensions. We can also have that dimension machine. Um, let's take a look of our machine frame. And later we're going to visit our uh, uh, machining factories that who provide this machine for us. This is a 6x2 machine um, mainframe and the total weight of this uh, is about 8 tons. Uh, it's a welded machine body which is not mold one because the mold machine uh, is another kind of design. and. Uh, uh, someone said it's good technology, but someone like Truman for Basonics, they also use welded machine. Uh, with the um, suitable heat treatment and uh, milling, we can also get very stable performance. Like in China, we have more than 10,000 customers. They're, they're using this machine like more than 10 years. It's very stable. And this is the inside look of the machine body. We see that holes is for the suction. And let's walk through our workshop. We're going to see the cutting. Today we're going to show uh, high pressure compressed air cut 8 mm mild steel with 8 kilowatt max laser. Before we see the cutting process, I want to introduce this powerful air compressor. And it's not very common because uh, I sold uh, like uh, thousands of machines, but few customers bought this. Uh, actually, we see that it's a uh, high pressure, which can give eight, uh, 30, uh, 3 M pass uh, pressure air. And uh, it's a uh, 2 uh, square meter um, capacity is uh, mainly focused on high pressure uh, compressed air cutting it's very saving cost if you have the air compressor that's saving electricity energy and you can save a lot you don't need to use nitrogen because nitrogen high pressure nitrogen is a big cost for cutting stainless steel or aluminium and even we use high press high pressure compressed air to cut my steel uh, normally when you use oxygen to cut my steel uh, the speed is pretty slow, but if we use compressed air to cut my steel, you achieve a high speed. This machine is an 8 kilowatt machine, 8 kilowatt fiber, and this is 6 by 2.5. Oh, okay, come closer. It's a 8 control. Um, this is a remote control. Uh, this is the new to control hypercut uh, by cypercut. Uh, it's a CAM bus. Uh, the, now it's the newest model of cypercut. First, we see the cutting procedure. They, we come close to see the sample. Let's show how nice. This is how much? This is how much? This is how It's the newest model C8000 of CypherCut. Well, the cutting speed. This is the speed of the speed of the speed of the uh, we see the cutting speed 7 meters per minute. 
。你这怎么显示氮气？不是，这是空，因为我氮气跟空气是用的一个管道，啊、是吧、啊？所以说我们这个管道没分出来。啊、你现在到这里的气压大概是二十五。没有二十五，你设定的二十五，但是经过压降之后，这里可能是估计十十七左右吧，十七十八这样子。十七十八，哦。所以是 about one point seven to one point eight megaparts compressed air， 这是满功率哈。对。Eight kilowatt full power. Let's see the samples. 有点扎，空气确实都会有一点。可以啊，我觉得。这是背面哈。嗯。It's the、uh, compressed air cutting six 六个厚的。六。Six hold my six millimeter my steel with the speed of seven meters per minute. Hello, now we are coming to one of our subcontractor. As you know that. Uh, a lot of companies selling laser cutting machines in China, but normally they do not do whole process. Uh, the first making the machine frame in subcontractor that this like this kind of uh, workshop, they do the pipe cut and then they weld, become the machine body, and then first the first step they put this machine in this oven. It's a very high temperature oven to give the heat treatment for the machine frame. Uh, the heat treatment quality is very important for the lifetime of your machine. Uh, the accuracy, how long you can keep that, it's uh, uh, firstly depend on how you design uh, the, the, the machine. You have to be heavy enough. To, to, to be rigid and stable in a high speed moving of the gantry. And of course you have to be low cost and you have to take care of the suction effects when you cut a lot of smoke and uh, the suction system has to work effectively. So the, after you design the machine, that then how you make it. The first step, normally we, we're looking for this kind of uh, ovens that they, for the heat treatment of the machine frame, uh, they have to be big enough because sometimes you need to make uh, 6 meters, 8 meters, even 12 meters machine. You need a uh, big uh, open like this. Um, this one, I guess, is about 6 meters or 8 meters. Uh, and the heat treatment just, just finished the first period. Um, the operator for this open is not here. We will, we will, uh, we will talk with him later. But we've, we can take a look. The, this is one machine. It's uh, about eight meters machine. It's a big one. Okay. Uh, here we will see the milling machine for 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 milling the guides for the racks and uh, uh, pillions. This uh, factory has three milling machine: two small one and one big one for the main frame. This one is the smallest and they are milling the gantry, the gantry of the machine. Take a look at that. Uh, gun nowadays we make gantry, uh, someone make a casting aluminium, some make it like this, my steel welded. Uh, both have advantages and disadvantages. Casting aluminium is light, moving fast, but it's not rigid enough. Uh, well, and uh, the heat the, the distortion of the uh, after heating up is different with the main frame. So someone said it's caused uh, not the same same uh, difference uh, with the heating up of the machine. Well, the my steel welded gantry is rigid, but it's heavier. So it's uh, depend on different different models and different power range. People use different designs. And this milling machine is slightly bigger, so they do, I think it's the 3.5 milling of the guides. And that one is bigger. Uh, milling machine, the ca capacity is very important to be a subcontractor. Because in China, it's very popular for 6 meters at least, 6 meters per 2.5, 8 meters per 2.5, this is very popular. So the milling machine needs to be 9 meters long or even someone has 13 meters. 
13 meters milling machine in Wuhan is quite rare. I, I have to say that only or three or five uh, manufacturers have this capacity. This machine, which is under milling now, it's, uh, it's like four meters and it's a very light machine. They are fixing it. I think they kind of finish it. For meeting this kind of machine, normally it take two days with the whole ships. Here we come to a, a, another subcontractor who have a big milling machine, 13 meters long, can process 12 meters machine frames. Uh, in this job shop, we see a 12 meters per 2.5 pile exchange model, which uh, I think is quite rare in my career. I never, I never sold this machine, 12 meters pile exchange. And we see that the machine, uh, the, the guide made by like 25 or 30, uh, uh, let's say hard steel or cold 45 hard steel the welding is this big and it's a 12 meters machine let's go and check the one on the milling machine this is a 13 meters long milling uh, it need 90 hours 90 hours to finish a 12 meters per 2.5 meeting we'll take a look at the job shop first we use the big blades to mill the general surface and then we change the tools to get these uh, tunnels let me ask uh, what's the accuracy这么长啊这么长累积误差是多少这么长零点一每米平均到每米就是零点零一零点零一到零点零二吧哦你这个洗的时候是先锁死是吧全部锁死吗只只用这这样这样压这样压啊那你压的话你这么长你很难保证它的